Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today we have another makeup basket video and the way that I've been doing these lately is I've been kind of going over everything that we had in here from the previous month, talking about which products I want to swap out, which ones I want to keep in for another month, and then we will go through my makeup collection together, kind of shop my stash together and pick out what we want to put in here for September. So let's go ahead and go over what's already in here from last month. The foundation I had in here uh, is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation and I do plan to keep this in until it is finished because this is in my project pan. I'm going to go ahead and take out everything that's in my project pan now um, because all of those things are going to be staying. We've got um, the Wet n Wild Quad in Walking on Eggshells and the Wet n Wild Blush in Rosé Champagne. Those I'm both pan- I'm panning both of those. Um, what else? a couple of lip liners and a lip gloss from NYX. Those are the things that I'm panning and that I will be keeping in for another month. Hello. Do you want to go in the basket for a month? So those are the things that I'm currently trying to pan. Those things of course will be staying in the basket until they're done um, or until I take them out of my project pan. So now that those are out of the way, I also had the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in here last month because um, it had been a while since I'd used it. I do want to take this out and swap it out with something else. All of these other face products that were in here, I think I am going to go ahead and remove and replace with other products. The Jordana Face Primer. Um, the main reason I wanted to keep this in here was because I was working on a haul update video and I wanted to be able to review that. So that's that video is done now. Um, same with the Jordana Sculpt and Go Contour Duo. I've been using this a ton lately. I don't know, maybe I'll decide to keep it in here, but for now I think I want to swap it out with something else. The Flower Blush Balm I've had in here for a couple months, I think, and I'm ready to focus on some other blushes that maybe I haven't used in a while. The NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, I used, I had this in here this month because I hadn't used it in forever because I'd only been using my Pixie Glow Mist for a while and I think I am ready to take this out, but it is a good setting spray. It is very dewy without being greasy. It does kind of, I think it does kind of help with staying power, even though it's a dewy primer or dewy setting spray. Then the CoverGirl Go Glow Luminizing Lotion. This is kind of, uh, I used it as a primer sometimes and then I also used it as, I don't know if I used it as a liquid highlight at all this month, but it can be used as a liquid highlight. Um, and it is just kind of one of those nice multitasking products. But I did use this a handful of times this month, so I'm ready to um, take it out of the basket for now. A couple of other face products up here in this compartment. We had the Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. Um, I am really close to being done with this, but I also have just recently bought several <laughs> face powders. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've just been in the mood to try a lot of new setting powders. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I think I want to try out some of the new ones that I have. I know I'll finish this eventually, but I'm not really like in a hurry to finish it. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Ooh, I really enjoyed this this month. I may, I may keep this in for another month because I did just really enjoy using it. And the Physicians Formula Natural Nude Highlighter. I also really enjoyed this. I love this product. I fell even more in love with it this month when I did uh, a video talking about if I could only keep five makeup products. This was one of those products and it's such a great multitasking product. I do wish it weren't so bulky. Really nice highlighter and do I wanna do I wanna take it out or do I wanna leave it in? I think I do wanna leave this. Oops. I think I do wanna leave this in for another month. I really don't have a lot of powder highlighters. So I wouldn't mind using that some more this month. Then let's see. Bunch of eye products. The Ulta Matte Eye Primer in Nude. I did finally finish the Jordana Jumbo Pencil. By the way, I think it's in here. Yeah, I put it in here so I wouldn't forget to talk about it in my Project Pan update. But I did finally finish this Jordana Jumbo Pencil, which I had been using as my eye primer. So I'm going to be going back to my Ulta Matte Eye Primer in Nude from now on. Um, and so this will probably just be living in my makeup basket until I use it up, which is probably going to be a while because these types of primers last forever for me. Then we have the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara and the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I am going to keep both of these in here for another month because they're just kind of some staple products and I do want to keep using the e.l.f. one until it's done so I can kind of see how long it lasts me. I'd rather not alternate between this and the CoverGirl one that I have just because 
I want to see how long this lasts using it exclusively. Lastly, the eyeshadow palettes that I have in here for the month. All of these are going to be being um, put back in my collection because I have a new round of eyeshadow roulette that don't that doesn't include any of these. I don't think. Yeah. So we had this is a, just has one single in it, but the Makeup Geek single in Venom, pretty color, um, but I don't reach for it all that often. Perfusion Spectrum Palette, I really just wanted to play with this because I wanted to be able to do a review on it in my haul update. I also did an, um, an eye swatch video on my Instagram on IGTV, so if you want to see that, check out my Instagram, shameless plug. Um, but that's, I'm not going to have that in here this month. Um, I am going to take out also the Billy Beauty Eyes of India palette. The shade that I had been focusing on was the shade Kobari, Kobari. Um, just going off of the pronunciations on the back here. This is a brown, just matte brown. Um, that was in my eyeshadow roulette, but I'm going to be um, putting this back in my collection for now. Same with the Elf Opposites Attract palette. We were working on the shade Cheeky in here. And then lastly, this, I had forgotten to put it back in here, so it was in my drawers, but this was in my makeup basket for most of the month. Um, the shade Incense was the one we were working on. This one is going to stay because um, the shade Soul was selected for my eyeshadow roulette for this next month. So we will be holding onto this one and this will be a challenge because I don't always love the way that this shade looks on me, but I am determined to give it a second chance and see if I can find a way to use it that I do like. That palette's gonna stay. The rest of those are gonna go. This paper is just where I track my project pan uh, progress. The other eyeshadow we had in here was the Terremare Mineral Eyeshadow in Bronze Moonstone. This was also part of my eyeshadow roulette series uh, in August, and I will also be taking that out for now. Um, I also want to take out the Besame uh, Vanilla Translucent Powder. I feel like I may end up decluttering this because I find that it's just a, a little bit too yellow on me and it does look kind of obvious. Um, it's just a, a hair too yellow. It's not as yellow as some of these like yellowy powders are, but I think just on my skin tone because I am so fair, it just looks a tad bit too yellow. So I may be decluttering this, but for sure I'm going to take it out of the basket for now. The NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I did use this a handful of times this month, and it is new to my collection. I may, may keep this in here for another month, because I kind of want to keep playing with it. I feel like I did forget about it a lot, although I did use it. I didn't use it as much as I wanted to, because I do want to figure out how I feel about it. Then we just had a bunch of lipsticks in here, so these were my four lipsticks from my four weeks four lipstick series. I just posted a video, whoa, I just posted a video update on that series, so I did kind of recap my thoughts on these four shades, so if you do want to learn more about them, I will link that video. But these will all be leaving because I do have a new round to put in to the basket. And then I also had the Profusion Matte Lip Liner in Secret, which goes with the Matte Lip Cream in Secret. This was in my four weeks for lipsticks, and this I just wanted to test this out since it goes with it. Um, but I will take that out now because it is really similar to the Jordana Easy Liner in Rose Crush which is in my project pan. So I wanna keep focusing on that one. And then the Physicians Formula Healthy Lip. I had pulled this out because I wanted to use it while like the summer was still here, <laughs> but I didn't end up wearing, oops, I didn't end up wearing this at all this month. I am gonna go ahead and take it out though because I do have two, I can't remember exactly. I think I have at least two really bold shades in my uh, lipstick roulette for the month. So I am gonna go ahead and take this out because I don't think I will be using it I have like another really fiery red that will be going in here. So um, I'll focus on this another time, but for now I will go ahead and remove it. So this is a quick look at everything that will be staying in the basket for this month over here, and then everything over here will be going back into my drawers. So let's go ahead and put these back and then we can decide what we wanna put in here for September. So here we are in my base drawer, I would call it. I've also been keeping my earrings in here, <laughs> but don't mind that. So I've got everything like primers, concealers, foundations, powders, setting sprays, all of that is in here. I do already have that Physicians Formula foundation in my basket until the end of time, <laughs> till, it's, till it's finished. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want any other foundations in there or if I just want to focus on that one. I think I'll just keep focusing on that one until it's done. Um, I do want to pull out this e.l.f. Beauty Shield Skin Shielding Primer. 
This has SPF 50. My mom actually gave this to me. We traded. I gave her the Ulta tinted mineral sunscreen and she gave me this. So I do want to try this out some more this month. I haven't tried it a ton, um, but it is kind of, a, it's a very mattifying primer. It's like a, I mean, it is a mineral SPF and it's tinted, so it's very mattifying. So I do want to try this out some more. I don't know if it's going to become like my favorite product ever, but actually I think I might also want to take out my Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation again. I think I had this in here the month before last, but I feel like these two products are going to play nicely together. I actually have worn them together a couple times, and this is a foundation that kind of requires usually a mattifying primer, so I think I do want to try to play around with these two some more. As far as concealer, this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. I kind of want to work on this. Maybe even, I don't know, I haven't decided yet what I'm rolling into my project pan, so keep that in mind. Um, but that video will be coming later this week. I'm thinking this may be something that I roll in, but I don't want to spoil anything because I haven't even thought about it yet, but I think I do want to focus on this anyway, either way, regardless of what I decide, because um, I don't think it'll take me too long to finish this off. There really wasn't a ton of product in here to begin with, how much was there? Oh, it doesn't say. Cool. Well, anyway, it's a very lightweight concealer, uh, not a lot of coverage, so there's that one, and then I'm thinking for higher coverage days. I think I'll put my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer back in. I know this was just in here, I think also the month before last, but I do really like this and I would like to have a high coverage concealer and a light coverage concealer this month. So those are the two that I'll put in. Then for, let's see, for primer, one thing, I think I do want to pull out my First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. I haven't used this in a while. Well, I did use it somewhat recently, but I haven't had it in my makeup basket in a while, and I would like to remind myself to use this as well. Then I think I want to pull back out my Pixi Glow Mist. I just love this. It's just such a nice, glowy face kind of fixing mist. So um, I do like it better than the next one, although the next one is good too. I just like this one better. So I'm going to put it back in. Then for powder. So I've recently bought a bunch of different powders. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like on a mission for some reason suddenly to find like the perfect face powder. But I, I bought this e.l.f. HD powder and it's the soft luminance one. So it's like a sort of luminous face powder. Then I just yesterday bought the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. This is only $2, and a lot of you guys told me on Instagram that you love this powder. It's like your holy grail, so very excited to try that one as well. Then I bought the Jordana Forever Flawless Pressed Powder. Doesn't this look like a MAC product, kind of? Because I'm working on a Jordana Best and Worst video. So this I know for sure I'm going to put in because I want to figure out how I feel about it. I don't think I've used it. I think I've only used it once so far. One thing I will say about this is it does have a very strong... Perfumey smell? Ugh, I don't like that smell. It just doesn't smell good. They could have just left that fragrance out, but whatever. So that I know I will be putting in the basket. And then I have the Physician's Formula Healthy Powder, which is also relatively new. And then of course the Milani one, which I took out of the basket for now, because I want to test out some of these. But I think I want to, oh gosh, I'll probably use all of these throughout the month, but the ones I do want to focus on would probably be... This e.l.f. HD powder I can use as an under eye setting powder. I usually like to use a loose powder for the under eyes for some reason. I don't know why, that's just what I prefer. So I think for now I'll have these two, the e.l.f. HD Soft Luminance and the Jordana Forever Flawless. I am interested to test both of those out some more. So we'll be putting the Milani one, giving that one a break for a little while. I'll probably also reach for this one a little bit this month, but I don't want to have too many powders in my, in my makeup basket this month. So I think that's everything from this drawer. I feel like we spent a lot of time in this drawer, <laughs> but I think that's everything. So this is my cheek products drawer. Oh, you know what? I think I did decide I do want to replace my butter bronzer with something else because I forgot. I bought the Jordana bronzer um, also to be included in a future Jordana best and worst video. So I will go ahead and have this one out for this month. This month's basket is going to be kind of a mix of old and new products. I apologize that it's not like a true shop my stash, but I don't always do my makeup basket that way. It's really just this is the handful of products that I want to be focusing on this month, whether they're old or new. So let's see. So I already have that Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne blush 
since it's in my project pan, but I do want to pull another one out. This one I haven't used in forever. This one's from Terramare in the shade Rosy. And so it is more of like a rosy pink as, a, as opposed to like a peachy pink, like the Wet n Wild one is. So, um, and it is a loose blush, which is not, oh goodness, what a mess. Not always my favorite style of blush, but it is really pretty, really blendable, and I feel like I should use it since I have it. <laughs> and whenever I do use it, I do really like it. For highlight, we have, already have the Physician's Formula one in the basket for this month. Um, do I want a liquid highlight? Or cream? Let's see. I don't think so. I think I want to leave it at that for now. I don't want to overwhelm myself. Sometimes I get too crazy and I put too many things in my basket and then I just don't even use any of it or half of it doesn't get used because I had too much on my plate for the month. So moving on to my eye drawer, I already have kind of pulled aside the eyeshadow roulette shadows. So if you missed that video, I will link it, but just as a brief overview for the month, we have we have the shade Suede Side to Side from the Milani Bold Obsessions palette, Adorn from Subculture, and then we have two ColourPop singles, Wake Up Call, which is this kind of beige color, and what's the other one? Prowlin' the light lavender. So I will put those in this little guy right here. I really need to get some kind of smaller magnetic palette to put my like whenever I have just one or two or three shades that I want. So there's those two and then one, two, three, four. And then the fifth shade is the shade Soul from Norvina. So those are the eyeshadows that I will be really using a lot this month, plus the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells quad. So I've got my work cut out for me there. I don't think I need any other shadows from this drawer um, because I, I think that's more than enough to be using this month. So that's kind of a purpley, bronzy color story that we're working with. I will bring out the e.l.f. Shimmering, no, Stardust Glitter Liner in Shimmering Gold. This is a bronzy, glittery liner. And I think that will go really pretty with the eyeshadows. Also, I do like to pull these out every few months just so that I use them before they dry up. Oh, I just remembered I had this NYX Epic Ink Liner in my makeup basket last month. I, I used it actually quite a few times and it just found its way back in this drawer <laughs> instead of in the basket. But just to let you know, I did use that last month several times. Really do like that liner. I just recently bought a new liner from Jordana. It's their cat eye liner. Look at this weird packaging. So you, you would think that this is the cap, right? Doesn't it look like this is the cap and this is where the liner is gonna be? It's completely backwards. What? Isn't that crazy? I wasn't expecting that at all. So you've got this really long brush, which maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a reason for that. And then this really small part <laughs> for the liner. I don't know. Uh, it's been a while since I've used a liquid liner like this. Normally I'm used to the pen style, but I'm testing this out for that video. So this will be going in the basket for this month. And then also the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Normally I like to only have one mascara open at a time, which I do have the CoverGirl Exhibitionist one open now, but I'm gonna be alternating between this one and that one just because I do want to be testing this one out. Once again for that upcoming Jordana video. So. This will also be in there. It's not often that I have two mascaras in my makeup basket at once, but this is just one of those weird occasions. So let's see, I think that's it. I have another liner from Jordana here, their blue, sterling blue easy liner, but I don't want to put it in my makeup basket because I know it'll just overwhelm me to see this alongside those like purpley bronzy eyeshadows but I probably will use it a couple times just to get a feel for it. I believe that is everything for my eye drawer. Let's go ahead and look into my lip drawer. All right, so here's the lip drawer. I'm all stretched out here because that's the only comfortable way to sit right now. <laughs> um, so I did go ahead and pull out, these are the five lipsticks that were chosen. Normally I do four, but since we only have a handful left, to go through in my four weeks four lipsticks. I went ahead and just did five. <laughs> Jordana Sweet Cream in Mango Sorbet. I love this one. Excited to use this while we still have a little bit of summer left. Not that I'm complaining that summer's almost over because I am so excited for fall. And then we have uh, Wet n Wild Violet's Kiss. Profusion, this is a lip topper from Profusion in Cloud Nine. Silvery, frosty, iridescent. <laughs> it's a lot going on in there. 
Profusion Admire, which is a matte liquid lipstick, kind of a purpley mauve. And then the Tartist Glossy Lip Paint in Token, which I think this is a limited edition shade. I don't think you can get this anymore, but it's really pretty. A friend gave this to me. It's just a mini. Um, so those are the five that we're working on this month. They're all very different, so, oops, so I'm glad. Last month we had like all very similar kind of rosy nude shades. This month we've got some mugs, we got some really bold colors, we've got a lip topper to switch things up, so very excited about that. The goal is to use each of these twice this month. So I will go ahead and give you guys a little spoiler. I am almost done with my Milani lip liner and spice. I mean, you already knew that. <laughs> I've been almost done with it for like three years, but I really am. It's gonna be done within the next few days, I'm sure, so. Knowing that, the Jordana um, Rose Crush one is still in my project, but is there anything else I want? Any other lip liners that would go with these lipsticks? Let's see. I may pull out this um, Urban Decay pencil in Manic. There's that. That reminds me a lot of Jordana Tawny, which was like an old favorite of mine that I used up a while ago, but that's what that reminds me of. I think this would go really pretty with with this Tardist. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Those will go nicely together. Do any of these other shades call for a lip liner? Not really. I don't always wear lip liner, um, but I think that'll be a nice little combo. So let's go ahead and pull this out. I don't think I've had this in a makeup basket yet. I think that's all for the lip drawer. I feel like I've got plenty to focus on. Oh, and then I also have the NYX Butter Gloss in my project pan, but this will probably be living in my purse for the most part. So here's everything all put away. One thing I think, so I forgot when I was going through my base drawer, I forgot that I already had my NYX Dark Circle Concealer in here. So I think I am actually gonna take the e.l.f. 16 hour camo out, just cause I had it in here just the other month. Um, so I think I'll just focus on the NYX and the Cover Girl for now. I'll probably reach for this e.l.f. one a handful of times, but I don't feel like I need it in my basket. So, there's everything. A few things are kind of hiding. That powder. I don't know. Sometimes I wish this came down further so I could see everything in there, but that's okay. That is it for this makeup basket video. I hope that you enjoyed. I do these each month at the beginning of each month. I do plan on doing a get ready with me where I use a good handful of these so you'll be able to see some of them in action, um, see me using them and not just seeing them in the basket and then never hear about them again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, love to have you subscribe so you can stick around for some of those future videos and I will talk to you next time. Bye.